What's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you a quick video of how to jack up your car. I mean this advice can help you in the future if you need to learn how to jack up a car. I'm using a 3 ton jack and a jack stand. So I'm going to teach you how to jack it up and little tips about it and where to place it for jacking points. Let's go. Alright, um, always chuck your car, you know, so it doesn't back up and shit. Hopefully that works, you know. Um, it's always good to do it on the opposite side of the the tire that you're pumping or you could do both just to be safe so i'm gonna go find another hollow block and two by four and we're gonna put it under so we can chuck both of the the wheels so it doesn't fall back you know all right so let's get to jacking start jacking we're gonna lock it up over here just so we know it's tight you know not too tight because you're gonna have to use this to loosen it up after you jack it up all right, that's all right to me. And we're gonna push it under. Mm. So, one of the best jacking points for uh, the passenger side for a Kia Sportage 2008 is actually this thing right here. It's part of the frame, you know? It's a steel frame, you could also do down there too. Just find a good flat spot to grab onto. And then, yeah. You can also do it there if you want, in that part right there. Yeah, we're gonna jack it up here. Pushing it up through the thing right there. We're gonna lock it. And then you see these two notches on the body of your car. That's where you're gonna place your uh, jack stand because under it, there's a support if you can see it. Wait, 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 there it is. See it? So the, the hook can kind of grab on and place it on. So let's go do that right now. So we jacked it up, we put it on our place that we want to, and we're gonna look, slowly lower it down by turning it counterclockwise. But remember, you have to chalk your tire in the back, and also that it's on park, and you're braking, you're braking, uh, your brake, your e emergency brake, your e-brake is up. So let me show you. All right, so we're gonna pre-loosen these because they're really tight. Um, usually when auto shops use torque wrenches and so forth. We're gonna pre-loosen these. I don't have a torque wrench, so I have the regular one. It's a bit short, but we can always use it with another breaker bar. So, let's go loosen it up. Oh, yeah. And that's for like extra support from jacking. Now, since we pre-loosened these, we're just gonna unscrew them out. And yeah. Remember this part is very dangerous, so you want to do it really slow, you know. When you put it in, you gotta turn it counterclockwise pretty slow. Because it's gonna slowly drop, you know. There it is. Okay, see it. And then remember, make it all the way out. Use this also to help you out, you know, pump it up if you feel like that this is just not enough, you know, you can. But never just rely on this without a jack stand. All right, pretty much that's how you jack a car. So when you put it the jacking point and then you set it down on the jack stand lightly after you turn this down, counterclockwise, they'll go down. And then if you're ready to bring it back up and you put your tires in, as you saw, you're just gonna pump it up a little bit, uh, release this to bring it down and then put it back in and then slowly counterclockwise, bring it down. That's pretty much it. And remember when you store your jack, keep this all the way down to the end and then tighten this. And keep it at a safe place, dry so it doesn't get rusty and dry from water and so forth. Peace out. Thanks for watching.